In this video, we'll share the top 17 things to do in Savannah. At number one, we have the haunting allure of Bonaventure Cemetery. One of the most scenic graveyards in America, this sprawling southern Gothic necropolis contains over 100 acres of tombs, many of which date back to the 19th century. Visitors can amble around at their own pace, admiring the Victorian funerary art and Spanish moss-draped trees. At number two, the charm of the historic Savannah Theater Calls. Located on Chippewa Square, it is the oldest continuously operating theater in the United States. Regular performances range from Broadway-style shows to musical reviews, offering a thrilling glimpse into the world of theatrical arts in a setting that transports you back to the 19th century. At number three, we have the Forsyth Park. This 30-acre park in the heart of Savannah is known for its large fountain, reminiscent of fountains found in Paris and Cusco. The park also features beautiful walking paths, a fragrant garden for the blind, a children's play area, and a charming cafe. At number four, the Juliet Gordon Low birthplace should not be overlooked. This Regency Italianate mansion tells the tale of the pioneering woman who founded the Girl Scouts of America. A guided tour offers a comprehensive insight into her life, the establishment of the movement, and the roles women played in the early 20th century. At number five, we have the Wormslow Historic Site. It offers a glimpse of the colonial era with its tabby ruin, once a fortified estate. Surrounded by a breathtaking avenue of live oaks, the site also includes a museum, nature trails, and a demonstration area showcasing colonial life. At number six, the Owens Thomas House and Slave Quarters invites exploration. This Regency-style mansion showcases decorative arts from the 19th century and has an impressive parterre garden. The attached quarters present an essential part of history, as they house one of the best-preserved urban slave quarters in the country. At number seven, a visit to the Telfair Museums is imperative. These three separate sites, the Telfair Academy, the Jepson Center, and the Owens Thomas House, collectively exhibit an impressive array of American and European art, dating from the 18th century to the present. At number eight, we have the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. Its twin spires dominate Savannah's skyline. The church's beautiful stained glass windows, detailed woodwork, and intricate murals make it an architectural gem and a place of tranquility. At number nine, the Mercer Williams House Museum merits a stop. This site, famously depicted in the book and film Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, offers a captivating mix of history and drama set within a beautifully restored Italianate mansion. At number 10, we have the Pinpoint Heritage Museum. This museum explores the traditions and life of the Gullah Geechee people, African Americans who lived in isolated coastal communities and developed a distinct culture and language. At number 11, the Ships of the Sea Maritime Museum captures the imagination. Located in the Scarborough House, this museum houses an impressive collection of ship models and maritime artifacts, focusing on Savannah's maritime history. At number 12, the Coastal Georgia Botanical Gardens are a must-see. Spanning 51 acres, the gardens are home to an impressive collection of flora, including historic and newly cultivated plant varieties, as well as a bamboo farm and beautiful rose garden. At number 13, we have the SCAD Museum of Art. Operated by the Savannah College of Art and Design, it houses a diverse collection of contemporary art. The museum, in a restored railway depot, also features rotating exhibitions from established and emerging artists. At number 14, Fort Pulaski National Monument beckons. A key site in the American Civil War, this remarkably well-preserved fort offers interactive exhibits and live demonstrations, providing a vivid experience of mid-19th century military life. At number 15, we have the Green Meldrum House. This Gothic revival townhouse served as General Sherman's headquarters during the Civil War. Today, it is a national historic landmark showcasing period furniture and historic artifacts. At number 16, the Ralph Mark Gilbert Civil Rights Museum is noteworthy. The museum, named after the local civil rights leader, details Savannah's African-American history from the end of the Civil War through the 20th century civil rights movement. Finally, at number 17, the Savannah Children's Museum invites the young and young at heart. This outdoor museum offers over a dozen exhibits designed to inspire learning through play, including a maze, sensory garden, and an exploration station. So that sums up my top 17 things to do in Savannah. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button.
Until next time, have a great day.